Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and I thought I'd do another mission, a realistic mission over at uh, Hack the Site. It's been a while, and uh, this one also has something to do with decrypting, so I thought it would add up nicely with the stuff that we're doing at over at security.org. Override, uh, sorry, security override.org. Um, so basically, uh, hello, esteemed hacker, we've gone up a level. Uh, we, he hopes we have some decent cryptography skills uh, because he has a text that needs to be decrypted. Blah 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 blah. The details are on this page. So the details are here. You might think, well, what is this? Well, that's the encrypted text. Let's go to the encryption. Uh, then I need to. Reload this one like so. Hopefully that works. I don't know. Yeah, that works. So that works too. There's authentication hash memory that work. Alright, well then I'll do that. Uh, let's see, clear this history, everything. Uh, well, that, that should not do. The rest, yeah, that's fine. Alright. Got off. Fuck off those X. Crap, SSL. Alright, so let's go back to the mission. Which one was it again? Toxco, there you go. Take this challenge. Rating hard, yeah, that, that's pretty hard. Well, it's a lot of work actually. It's not that hard, but it's a lot of work. Alright, doesn't do now. You piece of crap. Yeah, okay. So, we got a bunch of text here uh, that needs to be decrypted. So first we need to see how does it work. Well, first we'll do A. That's how we always do. This is our text. Uh, let me get a calculator. Okay. So. All right. so, we do 41 plus uh, 46 plus 10 equals 97 for those of you who think aha I see a link hold on because we're not done yet let's encrypt it again let's see what happens or right, numbers change so let's see what what this does 13 plus 34 plus 50 the best uh, mathematicians on uh, amongst you can see that, that also equals 97 well If we go to our ACII table, or ASCII, as it's properly pronounced, actually, uh, we see that 97 is the value of A. So what happens if we do a A there? I need to wait because um, I don't know why it's slow. Alright, so our encrypted text, uh, no, that did not work. What is it? No, that did, sorry. So our encrypted text is that. So let's see what that did. That did 94 plus 37 plus 63. It's 194. Again, for the quick mathematicians among you, you kind of see what that is. If you don't, let me do that. Hey. You see that you think, well, that's a bit um, lucky, maybe. Well, let me put in a B there. 
and encrypt it. And I think you'll see how this thing works. So 65 plus 90 plus 40 is 195. Well, the value of B is 98, which is uh, understandable because it's 108. And that's also the value of A. So apparently it's these three numbers minus whatever is here will get you here. But what if we do BB? Oh no, let's do it uh, AA. Let's see. So we'll do AA. Um, uh, no, sorry, that one. Uh, so that's 120 plus 120 plus 51 is 291 minus 194 equals 97. So basically, you could do it the other way around as well, of course. Um, meaning, if I go back, you can also do, well, um, if I do that, then I know at least the value of this string, which could be uh, 97 and 97, so AA, but it could also be uh, 96 and 98, B. So uh, that sign and B uh, should produce the same results. So that sign B, encrypted. So let's do that. Um, it was, I believe, 291. Uh, well, 180. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, 180 plus 111 is 291. And if you don't believe me, that's 90. 90 plus 111. So we need not necessarily know the exact encryption, we only need to know the value of encryption. So now we go back to this document. We see a lot of numbers here. Well, actually, we're only concerned about pairs of three because they always are in pairs of three. Because you, I'm not showing you yet, but if I do A8 with nothing you get 6 and this one is 97 and that one is 97 it's that simple so they're all pairs of 3 so what we are gonna do is uh, we're gonna do this the hard way we're not gonna make we could make a program that sorts all this out for us and does all the math for us but I kinda wanna show you the logic behind it which I already did but I also want to show you how you could do this like manually it takes a lot of time but it will help you think uh, understand like the algorithm and the way you need to think uh, very clearly I think or at least that's what I hope so let me um, start up do we have something like that on here I don't even think we have because what I need we don't have that in here Wow, that sucks. Oh, wait, maybe this one is it. Yes. And this is, of course, Excel spreadsheet. So what I'm going to do is, because I'm not going to bore you with the video with that, is I'm going to put all these through in there in pairs of three. So paste that. Uh, original data types. Uh, separated, yes, but can I say delimited by? Yeah, okay, delimited by, no, uh, it's a custom point. Uh, finish, because now it's easier to group them by three. Uh, well, I'll, uh, let me just uh, do this, uh, get them nicely, like, underneath each other and then I'll see you back because I need to make sure that this is correctly put in and yeah just give, give me a moment 
All right, so this is what it should look like in the end, and you should have about 366 of them, and which is true. So now what I will do is I'll put is oh no, let's do it different. No, I uh, will do it's the sum of these, and I'll carry this on. No. Like that, yeah. And all the way down to 366. 366, like that. Alright. So, um, the lowest value that we could have in a normal um, email or text environment will be the space character because that's 32 you could argue for that it will be one of these non-printing characters like a new line feed but that will mean that he typed and then pressed enter typed press enter type press enter type press enter could be but it's only one way to find out so I'm going for the space which is 32 so I'm going to lowest value there Because that is well, that's about sixty. Could be this one actually, but then I would have to check that next one. So three below that uh, will be twenty nine. Now that doesn't sound about right. If we had this to be our space, then three above it should be a pound symbol which would mean pound space pound space characters which technically could be right and then that one would be let's see 22 22 is 54 that's a 6 so a six there well technically could but that means that this whole thing without space will be a six so and that is a definitely a much returning character so i'm going to go with this one uh, being the space character so we'll do um, equals 794 minus 32 is 762 so 762 that will be the value which I'll be decreasing these all with so this one will be uh, equals that one minus 762 will be 83 and this one will be all the same <clears throat> Sorry, I lose my voice here. We kind of all the same. So we got some 13s and 10s in there. Well, 13 is character turn. 10 is new line feed. So those are new lines. And 32 is, of course, space. So that sounds about right. But now, what I will do is I'll copy this one, I'll copy that over there. Oh, yeah, that, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, damn. But if I copy this one, it will read differently. Um, wait, I can copy it and then say here, base special. Paste all, no, paste as value. Yeah, that's the one I want. And only here. No, that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do it like so. And then here, I'm going to delete everything for a second. Yeah. Paste it. That's so stupid that if you do, what is Control X here? 
cut. Yeah. Well, Control V is not pasting because I can I can never paste it. It's very annoying. Now I can only do that. All right then. Thank you. Well, this one will be E E one minus seven hundred sixty-two. I have to do it all over again. Alright, um, something wrong with this program. To oh, I'm in the wrong sheet. Um, no kidding. That's the one that I want. It has value. All right. Uh, well, I already have it on here, so I'm going to do... Alright, now I'm confused. Go away. Uh, yeah, sorry, you call it base special as value. Yes, that's the one I want. Alright. Uh, it'll take a while, but then you'll get something. Alright, so... Um, what I'm gonna do now is basically first do these with spaces. So we'll just do a Control F, um, find and replace all. Format now tools now. Search and replace. There we go. We're gonna search for. 32 and replace by space and entire workbook no current sheet you bastard okay uh, let's see if that works apply yeah so that's all those all become spaces then next we'll do the alphabet well we can do everything in order actually so that's what I will do. Control H. I will say 33 will become that one. Turn worksheet. I don't know if there are any in there, but you know. So 34 will become quotes. Uh, 35 will become pound symbol. Um, thirty six a dollar, and so on, and so on, and so on. Uh, I'll pause the video here, and I will show you what the end result is. All right, so I have gone through the entire. Um, well, not entire elf, but I made one stake. By the way, you should um, check that one. Match whole case words only, because otherwise you mess up the current numbers. Actually, so um, this is the beginning, and then we get these weird characters. Well, this stands for character return. This stands for line feed. If you remember an old typewriter, you should see this as a, this is a starting point. So it's Samuel Space Smith. Then the cursor springs back to the S, basically that's character turn. And now that's the enter enter button, but that's actually the character turn button. Nowadays it automatically goes to the next one. But actually what happens is it goes back, so it goes back to there, then it gives us a new line, so there, new line, then it goes back again, because it needs to go back again to, to the beginning, and then it gives us a new line again. So basically this CRLF, CRLF, character turn line feed, character turn line feed means that a white a white space and as I am going to type this anyway 
Let me type it in a uh, better format, which is this. So Samuel Smith carriage turn this carriage turn line feed in, in one go. So carriage turn line feed. Uh, thank you. You have to read this like that. Uh, thank you for looking the other way. Where's my note? Yep, thank you for looking the other way. Thank you for looking the other way on the increased levels of toxic chemicals. Increased levels of toxic chemicals. way on the increased levels of toxic chemicals. On the increased levels of toxic chemicals in the river. In the river, running, running alongside our. Running alongside our industrial industrial facilities. Facilities dot space. You can pick up your payments. You can pick up your payments of dollar twenty comma one twenty one in the mailbox in the mailbox at the mansion on the corner on the corner corner of fifty third and Saint Charles fifty third and Saint Charles Tomorrow between tomorrow between three AM and five AM. Oh between hours of sorry between hours of three AM and five AM dot and then it says again carriage turn line feed, carriage turn line feed. So here we do a carriage turn line feed. Carrying line feed. Thank you. Uh, comma. Don't forget that one. Thank you. Comma. Carrying line feed. Carrying line feed. John. Uh, Cully. Here's only one. Carrying line feed. So it's below that. It says Toxico. Oh, Toxico. Industries, I think it is. Oh no, sorry. Industrial chemicals, toxic and industrial chemicals. So that's the decrypted message. So let's uh, copy that and let's see what we need to do here. We need to, if you can also reply with the to this message with the. Okay, so we need to uh, do it to toxico underscore watch. So we'll say private messages toxico underscore watch. I'll never be able to remember that. It's late in the evening. So yeah, um, it was a very big job to do the um, separation of everything if I go here then I can do it all right never mind toxico underscore watch subject uh, I don't think there needed to be subjects but maybe there need to, I don't know. send did I complete it? Then I probably need to 
do a subject as well. Um, do I still have it under my note? Yeah, all right, so cool. Because you need to send a reply to that one. Let's go, yes. Take this challenge there because I need to. If you can reply to this message with the original text, yeah. Hmm. See Samuel Smith. If you can reply to this message with your original text. I wish I could do that. But I'm not sure. Said it did not do a victory. Base. So it well, that minus is base. I'll do the I'll do that. Get this one in there as well. Make sure it has the correct um, markup or make, uh, yeah. So that's one white space, one white space. Let me check that white space, the last one. Yes, thank you, space or uh, and enter, enter as it were. That one, yeah, yeah. So it's but no, no, it's not. Below the thank you, it's two, and above the thank you, there's also two. Yeah, did I? Did I spell anything? Yeah, this should be it. It did not generate a... That's very weird because... This is the entire email. Samuel Smith, white line. Thank you for looking the other way on the increased levels of toxic chemicals in the river. Did I do toxic waste? No. Levels of toxic chemicals in the river running alongside our 
run alongside our industrial facilities. Dot space. Yeah. What is the what is the problem? In the mailbox at the mansion. In the mailbox at the mansion on the corner off on the corner of 53 and St. Dot Space Charles. St. Dot Space Charles. Yes. Tomorrow between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. 3 Ah, I see it. There should not be a space there and it should not be a space there. Let's try this again. Toxico watch go chat. And now my thing oh my freaking god is this is you know what? I'm beginning to dislike this page. Go to log out. Seriously, this is so annoying and so unnecessary. Well, another one for only a simple, a very simple. Am I? Yeah. From the wrong page, I'm not getting. Ah, yes. All right. I got. I understand the problem now. I understand the problem. Um, well, you know what? Uh, stop the Make sure you said yes, indeed. Proxy should. I was. I only want to. So the problem advanced and uh, network settings menu and the proxy. Ah, uh, then this one did stop the index. Ah, uh, that sucks, man. Come on, you shouldn't be that slow. Cool. It's redirecting you in the in a way it will never complete.
my god this is so unnecessary hopefully we have the right answer now because otherwise I will be very very annoyed very annoyed indeed all right so toxic watch yes for crying out loud congratulations you completed realistic six so after all that hard work we put in there we now have uh, I believe we have all the basic missions do I have all the basic missions uh, I believe we uh, yeah we have all the basic missions and from the realistic there are I have no idea how many there are actually uh, let me see there are simple meal 16 so we have a long way to go but we did our first hard mission I think because before this we were easy mark yeah so it's hard and now we're back to moderate and so on and so on and so on there's one where it gets really difficult right this here this is where it gets really exciting and all of these are like pretty cool in their own way this one is oh, I hate that one um, yeah so this is pretty cool actually um, and then uh, we also we can do the application missions I'll show you guys something like this so you can do the Unix or the uh, Windows version it's whatever you want basically but um, you need to find the password so there's an application that runs and sometimes you need to press the button to get the password find the password, find the password, find the password and so on and so on and so on and so on, and so on. These are actually pretty cool to do. Um, then you have programming missions, where you have to. Well, here you go. You have to find the original unscrambled words, which were randomly taken from word list. So you need to see what happens, and can you uh, go away? Can you write code that will, like, you have to write, be able to read code, and write code. Phone freaking. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. Because first of all, um, I need proper equipment for this. Um, yeah, you must actually use the old math hacks back in use. So I need to check out if I'm be able to do this. Um, these I'm not really sure anymore. X basic missions. Oh yeah, you have to uh, make buffer overflows and something like that. These are extended basics. Yeah, yeah, that was. It. So these are um. Well, basically here it says. Okay, well, we can do this real quick if you want, but here it says uh, car low which can have 200 copy low and then the string so basically if you have more than 200 this thing would crash so so I try to keep them lowercase uh, however so if you do I don't know like 201 A's you do check you probably get that mission Uh, so extension blocking, uh, find a fake, fix scripts, and all that kind of things. These are are like pretty awesome stuff to do. Uh, for example, you get this whole thing, which is a bash script that you should um, read. Is a script authentication. Authenticating you by inputting a password into the field. For this, you will circumvent authentication altogether. Decrypting the password is for that one. 
so in this case you need to be able to see if you can get to that so this it says here end local if not password value equals to that go to access tonight so this is uh, yeah, these are like the, the pretty awesome things actually so uh, yeah so th these are a couple of extra missions uh, we have some JavaScript missions which basically means to, read, to be able to read JavaScript and these things are yeah, I was gonna say the, this is like sometimes It's very annoying to do these missions. Um, steganography, meaning hiding data in other uh, packages. I think this is one. Yeah. So this is an encoded message. The only tip you get is to no bytes. Thank or blame Tixie for making this change. There's no encoding error. Stop spinning <laughs> bugs about it. Well, basically you have. Uh, you, you save this image and you go and see if you can find anything in that image and then the RSC missions so um, yeah we have a long way to go we're only here we're really just six but I think I'm gonna do the other ones as well because to do first the real realistic ones all together and then the rest will be come kind of a hassle as you can see that there were like 16 here or something yeah there were 16 here so that means I have to do 10 more missions here then I have to do like the entire application and stuff like that so I'll probably do throw this one in for good measure but I don't know let's see I could do maybe the JavaScript missions as well it's gonna be a difficult one um, Anyway, we, we, we cracked the case on Toxico, and now you can see how handy it should be if you could write some code, because then you wouldn't have to do all those 10 hundred thousand steps that you had to do. Oh, excuse me, that you had to do with the um, Excel sheet right now. But you found out the no way not the hard way, but you know with some logic you could actually do this on in, in this way, and it, yeah, it might take you longer, but you get the answer. I mean, it, this this was not about writing code; it was about decrypting a message and you decrypt the message. So uh, that's it for me for now, and I'll see you guys soon.